طيب بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد today بإذن الله تعالى we have got the second sitting continuing on, on from brother Shaib's uh, lesson which was yesterday which is the first sitting and this is the book Majalis al-Shah Ramadan the sittings of the month of Ramadan by Sheikh Salih al-Uthaymin rahimahullah and uh, those who missed the previous lesson can see it on the channel, inshallah. So the first day, Buddha Shaib went through the introduction and the first sitting, which was the virtue of the month of Ramadan. And today, I'm going to go through the, the second sitting, which is the virtue of fasting. So some of the Topics here are going to be repeated from what Brother Shaib came with yesterday. So, Bismillah. So, Majlis Athani fi Fadl Siyam. So, here I'm just going to zoom in a bit more. So, uh, the virtue, the virtues of uh, fasting. So, the Sheikh he begins. He says, Alhamdulillah, al Latifi al Raufi al Manani. Al Ghani Al Qawi Al Sultan Al Halimi Al Karimi Al Rahim Al Rahman Al Awali Fala Shay Kablahu Al Akhir Fala Shay Badahu Al Dahir Fala Shay Fokahu Al Batin Fala Shay Dunahu Al Mohid Ilman Bima Yakun Wama Kan Yu Izu Wa Yudillu Wa Yufkiru Wa Yugni Wa Yaf Aluma Yesha Bihikmatihi كل كل يوم هو في شان أرسى الأرض بال بالجبال في نواهيها وأرسل الس الس السحاب الثقال الثقال بماء يحييها وقد بالفناء على جميع ساكنيها ليجزي ليجزي الذين أساءوا بما عملوا ويجزي المخسنين بالإحسان so just going uh, with the introduction, the Shaykh, he mentions, starting with the praise of Allah, and he mentions here, all praise belongs to Allah, the soul and most kind, the compassionate, the bestower of bounties, the one who is free of uh, any need and is independent. The, the one with perfect strength, who's perfect and is strong in strength. The, the, the ruler, uh, the king, Al Halim, the one who's forbearing, Al Karim, the generous one, Al Rahim, the bestower of mercy, and Al Rahman, the extremely merciful, the first, and there is nothing before him. And the last, and there is nothing after him. Al-Zahir, meaning the one who is the, the uppermost. And there is nothing above him. Al-Batim, fala shaydunahu. And then uh, mentions that uh, the most near, and there is nothing near than him. Al-Muhid, so he is the one who encompasses all knowledge. Uh, that that which is and that which was that did which is take place and that which did did take place, and he uh, honors and elevates who he wants, and he uh, humiliates who, whom he wills, and he gives to whom he wills, and he withholds from whom he wills. He does everything that according to his will, uh, according to his wisdom. So he does everything uh, that he wills according to his wisdom, and every day he, he's engaged in some affair, uh, and he um, established the uh, mountains um, in the earth in, in different directions, and he sent down uh, and he sent the uh, the clouds with the that are heavy with rain uh, to revive the earth. And uh, he he decreed death upon all of the pe people who are 
all of the dwellers on this earth and he uh, rewards those and he so that he can give those the recompense that they deserve for the evil actions and he rewards those who carry out their righteous actions so that was the introductory paragraph there and then the Sheikh he mentions Ahmaduhu ala sifat al kamilat al hisan wa ashkuru ala ni'mihi as sabiqati wa bi shukri yazid al ata ata wal imtinan wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lahu al malik al dayyan wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu al mab'uthu ila al insi wal jan sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi والتابعين لهم بإحسان ما توالت الأزمان وسلم وسلم تسليما. so here the sheikh he mentions that um, in this part here he says that I praise him yeah meaning Allah أحمده I praise him upon uh, I praise him upon his beautiful and perfect attributes and I so perfect attributes and he then mentions that um, I thank him for his outflowing bounties and it is with being grateful yeah uh, and I bear witness that none has the right to worship except Allah uh, and then he said, by being grateful uh, to Allah, Allah increases uh, the his uh, blessings and bounties uh, upon that person who is grateful. Uh, and I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah. Uh, and he is the uh, owner. And Ad-Dayyan, and Ad-Dayyan mentioned here. So he's the owner, Al Malik, or Al Dayyan, and uh, this is one of the attributes that are given to Allah, but it's not from the uh, names of Allah. So here we say that. Um, so yeah, he's the one who gives. Yeah, the. Yeah. So then the. Sheikh says that I bear witness that Muhammad, uh, that he's his servant and his messenger, and he was sent to mankind and jinn. Uh, so Allah sends his uh, peace and blessings uh, upon his him and his family members and his companions, and whoever follows their footsteps until the day of judgment. So then the Sheikh mentions Ikhwani. اعلم ان ان الصوم من افضل العبادات واجل واجل الطاعات جاءت بفضله الاثار ونقلت فيه بين الناس الاخبار so he says my dear uh, the sheikh sheikh uh, salih al-faymin rahimallah he mentioned uh, my dear brothers uh, know that fasting um, is from the best of uh, forms of worship and from the greatest forms of obedience and um, there are many um, narrations that have came, come in in regards to the virtue of fasting and being spread among the people فمن فدائل الصوم ان الله كتبه على جميع الامم وفرضه عليهم so then the sheikh mentions and from the virtues of fasting is that Allah he prescribed fasting upon all the nations and he made it obligatory upon them. So then the Sheikh mentions, قَالَ, قال اللَّهُ تَعَالَى So Allah the Most High said, He says, يَا, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So here Allah mentions that all you who believe Observing a song, the fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed prescribed for those before you that you may become al muttaqun the pious ones. So that's Surah Baqarah, verse 183. 
So then the Sheikh mentions, وَلَوْلَا أَنَّهُ إِبَادَةٌ عَظِيمَةٌ لَا غِنَى لِلْخَلْقِ أَنْ تَعَبُّدْ بِهَا لِلَّهِ وَأَمَّا يَتَرَتَّبَ لَيْهِ مِنَ الثَّوَابِ مِنَ الثَّوَابِ مَا فَرَدَهُ وَاللَّهُ عَلَى جَمِيعَ الْأُمَمِ So basically, the meaning of that is that the Sheikh said, if, if it was not the case that this worship, this form of worship, which is great, that uh, you know that uh, no, no no one from the creation can do without into uh, uh, to worship Allah without it, uh, and what it what it results from in terms of the reward, Allah would not have obligated it upon the all of the nations, except for this greatness that is a great form of worship and what, the great reward that uh, you know results from it. And then the Sheikh mentions وَمِنْ فَدَاءِ الصَّوْمِ فِي رَمَدَانِ أَنَّهُ سَبَبٌ لِمَغْفِرَةَ الذَّنُوبِ وَتَكْفِيرَ السَّيِّعَاتِ ففي, فَفِي سَحِيهَيْنِ أَنْ أَبِي هُرَيْرَ رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من سام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا وفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه So here the Sheikh mentions from the virtues of uh, fasting in the month of Ramadan is that it is a reason for the forgiveness um, of sins and for the expiation of uh, of evil deeds, and in in the and is mentioned in the Sahih, in the two books of Sahih, uh, the two Sahih books, which are Bukhari and Muslim, on the authority of on Abu Huraira, uh, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever fasts Ramadan with faith. In believe, you know, believing and we and seeking the uh, uh, the reward, um, Allah will forgive uh, his his previous sins for him. Yeah. So the Sheikh he says, Yani he explains it. He says, Iman billah wa ridan bi wa ridan wa ridan bi far diati asom alayhi wa ihtisaban li thawab bihi wa ajrihi lam yakun karihan. لفرضه ولا شاك في ثوابه وأجره فإن الله يغفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه. So here the Sheikh says meaning that the person has firm belief in Allah uh, and so the person who fasts he needs to believe, have firm belief in Allah and he needs to be pleased uh, with this being an obligation upon him. The fasting that is obligated upon him he needs to be pleased with that. And he needs to be seeking the reward, yeah, the reward that Allah will give him for fasting um, this month. And it shouldn't be that he detests or he hates that that Allah has placed this upon uh, this obligation upon him. And he shouldn't be someone who doubts in the reward that he will attain, yeah, because indeed then then Allah, if he is uh, fulfills these conditions, then Allah will forgive. What preceded uh, uh, from his sins, yeah, was passed from his sins. Allah will forgive those sins. Then the Sheikh mentions, وفي صحيح مسلم أن أبي هريرة أيضا أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال السلاوات الخمس والجمعة إلى الجمعة ورمضان إلى رمضان مكفرات ما بينهن إذا إذا اجتنبت الكبائر. So here again in Sahih Muslim, so this is all Sahih Hadith. The other previous Hadith we mentioned in Bukhari Muslim, this one is only mentioned in Sahih Muslim. It's authentic again from uh, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu that he mentioned that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that the five daily prayers and the Friday prayer to the next Friday prayer and the Ram one Ramadan to the next Ramadan are expiation for what is between them uh, from sin. It, it, if a person he stays away from the major sins, yeah. So that is the hadith. And from the uh, and then the Sheikh goes on to say, Wa min fada il sum anna tawabahu la yetakayadu bi adad muayin bal yuta asaimu ajrahu bi gari hisab. So he said uh, the Sheikh mentions and from the virtue of fasting is that the reward that is not limited to a specific number uh, rather, uh, rather the one who is fasting 
he is given a reward that has no limit that has no is no restriction there ففي صحيحين عن ابي هريره رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الله تعالى كل عمل ابن ادم له الا الا الصوم الصوم فانه لي وانا اجزي به والصيام جنه فاذا كان يوم يوم صوم صوم احدكم فلا يرفض ولا يسخب فإن سابه أحد أو قاتله فليقول إني إني سائم والذي نفس 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 محمد بيده لخلوف فم السائم أطيب إن الله من ريه المسق للسائم للسائم فرح فرحتان يف يفره هما إذا إذا أفطر فرح بفطره وإذا لقي ربه فرح بصومه. So here this hadith the Sheikh mentions uh, that in Sahih in the both in Bukhari and Muslim again from uh, narrated by Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu. May Allah be pleased with him that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah. So here this is a hadith al Qudsi. So this is a hadith it's called see when Allah, when the messenger sallallahu said Allah said so this is a revelation as well as uh, as well as Quran hadith is a revelation but hadith qudsi is actually the wording of the Allah uh, and uh, the, the prophet some narrates but you don't get rewarded for narrating this is the, the difference between a hadith qudsi and the Quran with the Quran you get rewarded for every letter that you recite um up to 10 10 for each letter as some, uh, as some narration mentioned and while for hadith Qudsi you don't get re- rewarded for uh, reading that so yeah so that's the difference so Allah the most high he said all of the actions of the son of Adam are for him except for fasting and indeed that is for me and I will reward him for, the, for, for it for fasting and fasting is a protection a shield so is if a person if uh, if a person if uh, so if one of you is fasting on a day and then he should not uh, use obscene language and that he shouldn't raise his wife and argue and if someone uh, curses him or or you know um, says something bad to him yeah uh, so if someone does that then he uh, or he fights with him then he should say to him i am fasting and by 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 he whose hand is the soul of muhammad the the order coming from a person who's fasting from his breath uh, the bad order that come from a person's fa- uh, mouth when he's fasting is better in the sight of allah than uh, myth- Musk, yeah, that is the smell of musk. For uh, then the hadith, which is the hadith Qudsi Kaizon, is saying that the the fasting person has two for two time. Uh, there's two happinesses for him, or two times of joy for him. Uh, uh, one um, when he opens his fast, yeah, at the time of opening fast, and the one other one when he is um, uh, meets his Lord and he's rewarded for his fasting. So that is a Sahih Hadith that we mentioned, and it's mentioned in Bukhari and Muslim, and it's a Hadith Qudsi. And then the Sheikh Ali Zon, wa fi riwayatin li Muslim, kullu amli kullu amli bni Adam lahu yuda yuda ifu al hasana tu al hasana bi ashr amthaliha. إلى سبعمائة ضعف قال الله تعالى إلا الصوم فإنه لي وأنا أجزي به يدع شحوته وطعامه من أجلي So here in also in another hadith in Sahih Muslim uh, in another hadith in Sahih Muslim uh, is mentioned that all, Allah mentions that all of the actions Another Sahih is another Hadith Qudsi that all of the actions 
of the son of Adam are multiplied. Uh, the deeds or the uh, the good deeds are multiplied by to ten deeds, uh, the like of it, or up till a hundred, seven hundred deeds. Yeah, so it multiplied by ten to seven hundred. And Allah said, the Most High, except for fast, the fasting of a uh, person, the, because this is for me, and I will reward him, because, why? Because the fasting person, he leaves his desires, so that is his relations with his wife, and he leaves off his food and drink because of Allah, for the sake of Allah. So that is the hadith. So, هذا الحديث الجليل يدل على Fadilat al min wujuhin adida. So the Shaykh mentioned this, this, this hadith, this, uh, you know, what just had this uh, great hadith, it, indicate, it shows us that, that uh, fasting has many uh, virtues uh, from many aspects. So we're going to go in, the Shaykh's going to go into this. Al wajh al awwal, anna Allah ikhtasa li nafsihi al sawm min bain sa'il al a'mal. وذلك لشرفه عنده ومحبته له وظهور الإخلاص له سبحانه فيه لأنه سر بين الأبد وربه لا يطلع عليه إلا الله فإن الصائم يكون في الموضع الخالي من الناس متمكنا من التناول ما حرم الله عليه بالسيام فلا يتناوله لأنه يعلم أن أن له ربا يطلع عليه في في خلوته وقد حرم عليه ذلك فيتركه لله خوف من إقابه ورغبة ورغبة في ثوابه فمن فمن أجل ذلك شكر الله له هذا الإخلاص وإختص سيامه لنفسه من بين سائل الأعمال أعماله ولهذا قال يدأ شحوته وطعامه من أجلي. So uh, just going to explain that. So the first aspect from the virtues of uh, fasting is that Allah He chose this and He He specified this for uh, the fasting for Himself. Uh, from from the, all the other uh, right, uh, acts of worship, and that is because of the nobility, nobility of this uh, worship, this act of worship, and uh, for the love of Allah for this act of worship, and for the the appear, you know, the showing of ikhlas, uh, the person who's fasting, he shows his sincerity for Allah in this uh, while completing this act of worship. Because this act of worship is a secret, it's not, you know, something that is shown. Well, like like the uh, other acts of worship, for example, uh, prayer is something that's outwardly seen by people. Are, that person is praying, a person is giving uh, charity, zakat. It's something that's seen. Hajj is something that is seen. You know, so these forms of worship are seen. While the fasting is secret, is between Allah and His servant. Yeah, and Allah witnesses uh, His servant, uh, so no one witnesses uh, this act of uh, obedience on this worship except Allah. Yeah, so no one can tell you whether you're fasting or not just by looking at you. So indeed, the because of the person who fasts, uh, he can be in a place that is un, uh, you know uh, only inhabited by people, and he is able. To take from what Allah has forbidden him from, for example, food or drink, he can go in secret eat that, or he can go in secret and do whatever else is forbidden by fasting, having relations, for example, uh, with one's wife and stuff. So he can do that in secret, um, but uh, he doesn't do that. He doesn't take them uh, the food and the drink, yeah, uh, because he knows that he has a Lord. That is a witness over him, uh, even in his private, in, in, even if he's in privacy, Allah can see him, and Allah has made this haram upon him. 
So he left that for the sake of Allah, fearing the punishment of Allah and desiring the reward from Allah. So because of this, Allah is grateful to him and uh, and for his sincerity. And he uh, he that's why he chose uh, fast, the fasting for himself um, um, from all from the rest of the righteous actions and uh, acts of worship. And for this reason, he said in the hadith that we preceded that the servant has left his desires and his, you know, for a relationship as well to have with his wife and his food and drink because of me, for the sake of Allah. Yeah. Uh, and um, so then the Shaykh said, What that faida to had al ikhtisas yom al qiyama كما قال سفيان بن أوينا رحم الله إذا كان يوم القيامة يحاسب الله أبده ويؤدي ما عليه من المظالم من سائر أمله حتى إذا لم يبقى إلا الصوم يتحمل الله أنه ما بقي من المظالم ويدخله الجنة بالصوم so then um, the Sheikh he mentions that um, that um, what is it going here? What that? No. And there's another benefit here uh, that the Sheikh mentions that um, yeah, just going getting back onto this here. Yeah. So yeah, so he said that uh, another benefit of the virtue of the or the virtue of uh, appears as well on the day of judgment. So it appears on the day of judgment uh, as Sufyan ibn Uyayna, uh, may Allah have mercy upon him, from a person from the Salaf, one of the Imams from the Salaf, he said that on the day of judgment, Allah will reckon his slaves, so he will account, hold them account. And will uh, pay uh, his the grievances from his deeds. So whatever you know oppression that the person committed, he will have to make up for those he'll be with his deeds. Yeah. So his remember no one crossed the bridge the sirat until he's given uh, what he's owed. Or whoever is always oppressed, and until all his deeds are gone except fasting. So when his uh, fasting is remained, Allah will pay pay away whatever he's owed. Uh, for him and grant him paradise because of his fasting so Allah will make up whatever uh, you know uh, if his deeds have ended up and his only fasting is remaining Allah will uh, you know recompense the person that he's opp oppressed uh, from, uh, from Allah and he will uh, enter the person uh, who still has that fasting you know the fasts remaining into Jannah so mashallah so that shows you the greatness of fasting and the results that we, we can see, not in this life uh, as well, but just in the hereafter as well. So then he says, Al-Wajha uh, Thani, Anna Allah qala fi sawm wa ana adzi bihi fa'adafa al-jaza ila nafsihi al-kareema li anna al-a'mal al-saliha yudha'ifu ajrahu bil-adad. الحسنة بعشر أمثالها إلى سبع مئة دعف إلى أضعاف كثيرة أما الصوم فإن الله أضاف الجزاء عليه إلى نفسه من غير اعتبار أدد وهو سبحانه أكرم الأكرمين وأجود الأجودين والأطية بقدر المعطيها فيكون أجر الأجر السائم عظيما كثيرا بلا حساب وصيام صبر على طاعة الله وصبر عن محارم المحارم الله وصبر على أقدار الله المؤلمة من الجوع والأطش والضعف البدني والنفس وفقد اجتمعت فيه أنواع الصبر الثلاثة وتحقق أن يكون سائم من السابرين وقد قال الله تعالى إنما يوفى السابرون أجرهم بغير حساب. So here 
the Sheikh, he mentions that the second aspect is that Allah uh, said in regards to fasting uh, that I give, I give the reward of fasting. Yeah, yeah. So he, uh, so he attributed the reward to himself. Yeah, uh, he reward uh, uh, to himself. Uh, so he attributed to himself because of the nobility of this uh, to his to himself. Yeah, um, and his generosity because actions, the righteous actions, are multiplied. The reward of them are uh, multiplied by by different numbers. Uh, so a, a good deed is multiplied by. As we mentioned previously, by ten, the like of it, up to seven hundred. Yeah, so it's multiplied by ten, the like of it, up to seven hundred, um, and this is to uh, many more, and it could be many more. But as for so, those are restricted numbers where the good deeds are multiplied. But as for fasting, then indeed Allah attributed, uh, you know, He attributed to Himself that the reward will be. Um, from himself, and he, he didn't mention the exact number, and that and Allah, the Most High, yeah, Allah the Most High is the most generous and the most, uh, you know, bounteous, uh, and he's the uh, so when he gives, it will be a lot more, yeah. So, as Allah is the most uh, generous and the most uh, bounteous and of course the great the greatness of his gifts is the greatness of uh, is dependent on the greatness of the one who's giving it therefore the reward of fasting will be very great without a limit and then Allah mentions in the ayah so we just give the meaning of the ayah where he says said um, In, so for those who do good, for those who do good in this world and Allah's earth spaces, so you will uh, get a reward. So he said, indeed, really the patient will have their reward without measure. So indeed, the patient will have their reward without measure. So here, that's mentioned. And then, the Sheikh he mentioned uh, that the reward of the fasting person is great. We already mentioned that, and uh, this fasting is actually uh, being patient upon the obedience of Allah and being patient upon the things that Allah has made forbidden for us. So staying away from them. So that's the two. So first is being patient upon obedience to Allah. That's one. The commands of Allah, what Allah has told you to do, like fasting, uh, stay, being patient upon the forbidden actions, staying away from them. Yeah, that's two. And the third one is being patient upon uh, what uh, Allah has written. Yeah, so what Allah has written uh, of the things that are painful, you know, uh, from the hunger and from the thirst. And from the weakness of the body and from the weakness of the soul while they're fasting. So these are all the three types of patients. So these have gathered, the three types of patients have been gathered in uh, in that person, the person who's fasting. So therefore the one who pass, uh, fasts qualifies to be considered amongst the patient people. And Allah says, uh, I mentioned why right, the patient will have their reward without measure. Then we go on to the al wajh al the third uh, the third aspect, and the sum junna, that fasting is a shield, a wiqaya wa sitrun yaki asaim min al laghwi wa rafti, wa li dhalika qala fa idha kana yom al sumi ahdikum fa la yarfut wa la yashab wa yaqih min al nar, wa li dhalika روى الإمام أحمد بإسناد حسن أن جابر رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال 
as-siyam jannatun yastajinnu biha al-abd min an-nar so here the sheikh is saying that the third aspect is that the uh, fasting is a shield no fasting is a shield meaning that is a protection and it's a will that protects a fasting person from uh, it's a will and it protects the fasting person uh, from uh, idle you know talk and uh, from uh, ill saying ill words you know uh, and uh, for that the uh, allah said for that reason allah said fa idha kana yawm as-sawm ahadikum fala yarfud wala yaskhab so we mentioned the hadith again if any one of you are fasting then he shouldn't you know uh, raise his voice and uh, he shouldn't uh, you know use wild speech uh, and it's a protection from fire, the hellfire and uh, and is that's why it was narrated by imam ahmed so imam ahmed one was one of the great four imams that uh, the people of uh, the madhabs follow so it's imam malik the malikis abu hanifa for hanafis imam ahmed for the uh, hanbalis and imam shafi for the shafi so imam ahmed is that imam who is he's also got a connection in his uh, musnad so he's isnad hasan so he's saying he's got a uh, good chain of narration from Jabir radiallahu anhu that the Prophet said that fasting is a shield and it protects a person uh, from the hellfire. So that was the, the, th- the third aspect was that it protects from the hellfire. So it's a protection. And then the third aspect was فَكَانَتْ طَيِّبَةٌ إِنَّ اللَّهَ سُبْحَانَهُ مَحْبُوبَةٌ مَحْبُوبَةٌ لَهُ وَهَذَا دَلِيلٌ عَلَى عَظِيمِ شَأْنِ الصِّيَامِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ حَتَّى إِنَّ الشَّيْءَ الْمَكْرُوهَ الْمَكْرُوهَ الْمُسْتَخْبَثَ إِنَّ النَّاسَ يَكُونُ مَحْبُوبًا إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَطَيِّبًا لِكَوْنِهِ نَشَأَ عَنْ طَاعَتِهِ بِالصِّيَامِ So then the third and the fourth aspect is that uh, something that brother uh, Shai mentioned uh, previously yesterday as well and it's the sheikh's mentioning again that the order that the order from the breath of a person who's fasting is uh, better in the sight of Allah than misk than musk yeah? because uh, it's from the uh, the traces of of the fasting yeah so um, and so it is uh, something that is tayyib um, so is something that is uh, pure and um, so here is pleasant something that is pleasant with Allah the most high and is something that is loved by Allah uh, and uh, the proof of, of his greatness and, and his importance of fasting in the sight of Allah uh, and it's uh, that even you know, something that is detested and something that is seen as something disgusting uh, with most people, that is something beloved with Allah. Because in its origin, that is something good, that is, is originated from something good, and that is obedience. The obedience of the one who's uh, fasting to Allah. So it's emanated because of that, because of the obedience, is seen as something great in the sight of Allah. Yeah. So then, uh, the Sheikh he mentions that al wajhu al khamis, and this is the last aspect. Um, the, the last aspect, and lisaim farhatain farhatan in the fitrihi wa farhatan in the liqai rabbihi, amma farhu in the fitrihi fa yafrahu bima anam Allahu alayhi min al qiyam bi ibadat al siyam al lazi huwa min afdal al amal al saliha wa kam unasin khurimu. فَلَمْ يَسُومُ So uh, we just translate that. So the, the fifth aspect is that the, that the one who's fasting, he has two happinesses or two uh, times of joy. Uh, the first one is when he opens his fast, he's uh, happy. Uh, and the second one is uh, when he meets his Lord. So as for the time when he opens his fast, he uh, is pleased uh, with the blessings of Allah, that Allah has blessed him. Uh, with uh, to be able to carry out this act, uh, this act of worship, which is fasting, 
and uh, and it's from one of the uh, greatest forms of actions of worship and righteous actions. How many of the people have uh, you know been uh, you know they've been hindered? You know they've uh, they've pro prohibited themselves really. They've been deprived. Yeah, deprived from fasting. You know, they made an excuse, well, they've not fasted. How many people have been deprived of this great act of worship? Uh, so a person who fa uh, fasts, he... Uh, um, so he, the Sheikh mentions that the person who's fasting, he, he is uh, pleased and happy that Allah has permitted for him uh, this food at the time of opening and the drink and now uh, the relations that he can have with his uh, wife and the uh, wife with her husband uh, after the opening of the fast uh, which were forbidden at the time of fasting then the Sheikh mentions that as for the second happiness كاملا في وقت في وقت وهو أحوج ما يكون إليه هنا يقال أين الصائمون ليدخلوا الجنة من باب الرياني الذي لا يدخله أحد غيرهم. So then the Sheikh mentions as for the second uh, happiness or time of joy is when he meets the person fasting person meets his Lord and he is happy because of his uh, the fasting the fast that he kept uh, he will find them. The reward with Allah and the Most High available in full, in full, uh, in the time where where he's most needy of deeds. When a person is most needy of deeds, he'll find his fasting and the deeds that Allah has mentioned that are you know unrestricted. There are more than seven hundred, you know, uh, unrestricted uh, per fast. Uh, he'll find that, and uh, when the caller will say, and it will be said, sorry. That where are the the fasting people, uh, so that they can enter Jannah uh, um, from the Bab of Rayyan? Yeah, so Bab of Rayyan is specific for the people who uh, fast, and no one else will enter that uh, through that door. And th in this hadith is uh, indication that the people who are fasting, uh, if someone sabahu, if someone you know curses or insults him. Uh, or oh, he fights with him that he doesn't return with the like with the like uh, because this will you know increase the you know fighting and animosity and the uh, you know uh, between them uh, so that we don't we don't want to increase that uh, so and he also he doesn't remain silent in front of that person and just you know take it we're not a people who just uh, like the Christians say, give one cheek and give the other cheek. No. So rather, uh, we uh, we inform that person that we are fasting, meaning that we tell them that we are fasting. If we weren't fasting, we could obviously give life for life, like, uh, but our respect for the fast, that we uh, we are not you know, unable to respond with the, what they are giving, uh, but because of the respect in the fast, we are not uh, uh, you know, responding with that. And inshallah, that will stop the person who's cursing you or fighting with you. Uh, so, and then uh, the Sheikh mentions um, the Quran ayah, Idfa billati hiya ahsanu fa idha alladhina fa idha alladhi baynaka wa baynahu adawatun ka annahu waliyun hameem wa ma yulaqaha illa alladhina sabaru wa ma yulaqaha so then the Sheikh he mentions here uh, the good deed and the evil deed cannot be equal repel the evil with one which is better i.e. Allah orders the faithful believers to be patient at the time of anger and to excuse those who treat them badly then verily he between whom you and there was enmity will become as, if, as though he was a close friend uh, but none is granted the above quality except those who are patient and none is granted it except the owner of the great portion of happiness in the hereafter I mean the people of paradise and the people of high moral character in this world 
So then the Sheikh goes, وَمِنْ فَدَاءِ لِسَوْمَ أَنَّهُ يَشْفَى لِسَاهِبِهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَأَنْ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ فَأَنْ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ بْنِ عَمْرُ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمَا أَنَّ النَّبِي صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ قَالَ الصِّيَامُ وَالْفُرْقَانُ يَشْفَعَانِ لِلْعَبْدِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَقُولُ الصِّيَامُ أَيْ رَبِّ مَنْ مَنَعْتُهُ الطَّعَامَ وَالشَّحْوَةَ فَشَفِّعْنِي فِيهِ وَيَقُولُ الْقُرْآنُ منعته النوم بالليل فشفعني فيه قال فش ف فيشفعني رواه أحمد. so here the sheikh he mentioning that um, um, and from the virtues of fasting is that uh, the the fast the fast will be intercede on the day of judgment. that uh, is reported from Abdullah bin Amr رضي الله عنه may Allah be pleased with his companion uh on the both uh upon uh, his father as well uh that the prophet sallallahu said that uh, the fasting and the quran will come as intercessors on the day of judgment for the servant on the day of judgment and the fast the fast will say oh my lord i i prevented him from uh, eating food and from desires so uh you know uh, accept my intercession on behalf of him and the Quran will say as well, likewise, uh, I prevented him uh, from sleep at night, you know, because the person will be sleeping, uh, reading Quran at night. So uh, inter- I set my intercession for him. So uh, they will, qala uh, So then they will be, uh, the intercession will be accepted. And that is mentioned by Ahmed, um, you know, uh, Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal. And then said that is mentioned in Tabarani and uh, in the Al-Hakim. And they said that it's Sahih on the on the condition of Muslim, and Al Tirmidhi uh, mentioned that it's Sahih as well. Yeah. So uh, so then uh, some of the scholars are mentioned. Um, so yeah. So then he mentioned that um, Ahmed Shakir mentioned this to be authentic. Was a scholar of Egypt. Uh, in the Musnad Ahmed and Albani also uh, agreed uh, Hassan Sahih, uh, while Sheikh Mukbil declared it to be weak. So there is a difference of opinion on that hadith. Then the Sheikh said, "Ikhwani, fadal isom la la tudrak la tudraku hatta yakuma asaim bi ada bi adabihi. Fa istahdu fi itqani siyamikum wa wa hivzi hadudhi wa tawa tawabu." إلى ربكم وتوب وتوبوا إلى ربكم من تقصيركم في ذلك. So then the Sheikh he said, oh, um, you know, oh my brothers, know that the virtues of fasting cannot be attained until the slave establishes the etiquettes of fasting. So therefore, strive in perfecting your fast and preserving the you know the boundaries of fasting. Yeah. Uh, so turn to your Lord in repentance from your sins. Um, yeah. Uh, and from your shortcomings uh, in that. So, with that, Allahumma hafad siyamana waj'alhu waj'alhu shafi'an lana waghfir lana wa li walidayna wa li jami' al-muslimin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. So then the Sheikh, he finally says that, uh, Wallah, uh, you know, preserve our fast for us and make those uh, uh, an intercession for, for us and forgive uh, us and our parents and for the all of the Muslims and uh, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon the Prophet Sallallahu and upon his family and upon his companions and with, with, that, with that we finish Subhanakallah wa bihamdik Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu alayk